If when you're walking away from your bike, you don't turn around and look at it, then you bought the wrong bike. Do any of you guys lay your stuff out before you pack it up? You know, check out what you've got, what you need. I do, obviously. I'm about to pack all this stuff up because today I'm going to Daytona. I'm gonna show you a couple things that I packed, a couple tips like right this second because I'm about to load it up. And then I'm just riding. I don't really know what I'm talking about. It's uh, 500, 400 miles, I don't know, it's far. So, I don't really know what I'm talking about because you know how it is go for a long ride and you're kind of in your head a little bit so I'm making a video about something though and it's gonna be a ride video a couple weeks ago I talked about how to pack your motorcycle this is a sure enough this is how I do it there's a couple things that I know I don't want to forget for those of you that don't know me my name is John Maxwell and normally I don't get to make ride videos I make shop videos because I work at the shop but today I'm on vacation I got four days to go down to Florida and come back again before I got to be back at work, so that's what we're doing. Now, before I load all this stuff up, a couple things that I want to make sure I pack and I keep towards the top. Rain gear, because I'm going to Florida. A lot of this stuff you wouldn't even have. Camera gear, that's crazy. I'm going to take warm weather gloves just in, in case something gets crazy. Thing about being about all day long in the sun and then riding at night, it can feel a lot colder than it really is just because you're used to being really hot all day long. I've got a ton of t-shirts packed, but I know I might just want a long sleeve shirt. I've got leather jacket, all that stuff. I do have one brand new to me shirt. The only reason why I even know what was in this is because Torque Motorcycle Company actually hit me up to find out what size shirt I wore. Going to Florida, the land of the flannel, it seems. There's a lot of flannel out here. These guys have the same shirt on. So when, oh man, this is actually way thicker than I would have guessed. Yeah, so I got me a new shirt. It even has a collar. If you know me personally, you know I don't really do, uh, do that collar thing. They're on Instagram and all that jazz, Torque Motorcycle Company. Thank you, Torque, for sending this out. I have a funny feeling I'll be able to put it to good use this weekend. Well, <laughs> if it gets cold enough for it. Either way, really nice. I'm pleasantly surprised. You never know what you're gonna get when you see something on the internet, right? Now that I've condensed a fair amount of it, I can actually just go ahead and put it on the bike and we can get out of here. One thing that I did forget, though, was my water bottle. So I gotta stop by the shop and get that. Still gotta fit you guys in there and, well, that's where you're going. No room for my water bottle anyway. Maybe we'll do a review on the Heritage. That's what we can do. So I did buy a little three inch cable for my powered Ciro cell phone mount. That's good. That is gonna be very nice because I have every intention of Soundbar, check. Also, I think I said that I'm going to Daytona, and technically I am, but I'm doing that tomorrow. This is the HD app. I'm actually headed to Orlando, 389 miles. That's actually not that bad. Whoa, that's a lot of dealerships. Okay, it says it's six hours, 27 minutes. All right, this should tell me how to get there. I'm gonna kind of check this out while I'm cruising today. See if I like it as much as Maps Map. I already know how to get out of town though. So let's go back to music. All right, let's get out of town. didn't know I'm in Columbus Georgia at Chattahoochee Harley-Davidson not Chattanooga Harley-Davidson or Chattanooga Tennessee I always think it's from Tennessee whatever I'm trying to say but Columbus Georgia is right next to Fort Benning so yeah home of the infantry cool
Sylvester, Georgia. And I'm hungry. I don't like I don't have to have gas now, but you know, if you're gonna stop. I'm really thirsty too. I wish my water bottle would fit. Oh, uh, that is one thing. I told you we'd review the heritage. This is about a six month review. I'm probably yelling. <laughs> This is about a six month review as a matter of fact. And I've done a lot of around town riding. One huge trip to Paris, Texas, which was about a 2,000 mile weekend. And then this is another, this one will be a little over a thousand miles by the time I'm done. But the bike is set up differently this time around too. Got the handlebars on it. Got a sound bar from Kiriaki and got a different cell phone mount. I do have a second GoPro since Paris. No, wait, did I? Yeah, second GoPro since Paris. So, got got different camera angles. I was probably should have gotten gas right there at that very large gas station. Did. Yeah, that would have been smart. I don't think I've ever seen a gas truck getting gas. Did y'all notice that? What? Dude, that sign looks so weird. It's missing the front of the McDonald's, so it says... Sblanalds. <laughs> I'm gonna call them that from now on. So yeah, the bag space. That's what I'm really supposed to be talking about. It's smaller than the touring bikes, which is both good and bad. It's good because I don't have so much real estate taken up inside my trailer since I park in a trailer. I have two bikes in there. It's a two bike trailer, but I got more room because I don't have a giant touring bike as one of them. It's bad though, because I would have liked to have brought more stuff. However, I don't really need the tour pack for anything but camera gear. So now the tour pack I did add after the fact, if you haven't seen that video, it does exist, but I bring camera gear. So, you know, if you didn't have camera gear, you could put, I don't know, other things in there. More stuff. Too bad I missed that gas station. I guess I could take a minute and talk about the speedometer since that's a big uh, review point for the new soft tails. Especially the heritages, but I guess I see that because I'm in a Facebook group about 2018 and later heritage. Whatever. My speedometer does not fog up like a lot of people complain about. I haven't had any issues with it. All of Harley's speedometers are vented though, so if it does fog up, it's supposed to go away eventually. You know, within sunlight generally. It's a try. Mine doesn't have that problem. I do enjoy having the range for how much miles I have left. That system does kind of learn your riding style to know how much fuel versus how many miles you should get out of that. I like that it's old school in the regular speedometer, but then it has a bunch of electronic stuff. Gear indicator, the fuel gauge is a, a bar right here that you can't really see because uh, there is none. And yeah, fuel lights on now. We rock it, bro. Let's go get some gas. Oh, there's a Chick-fil-A. It's four miles on the left. I'm happy. And I can make it because I have 34 miles left. Why are we going so slow? What is the speed limit? I do not like my positioning right here at all. Like, how did I let this happen? Why is this trains van in the left lane? 45 miles an hour, that's the speed limit. Also, there is going to be some petrol over here. So I'm just gonna ride behind this shiny, sharp object until I find gas. Sounds smart. <laughs> yeah, I watched the Final Destination series not too long ago. Like all of them, except the fifth one. Okay, not all of them. Anyway, the log truck scene. Everyone, everyone that's seen the movie has that fear now, right? Easy Mart. I don't want Easy Mart. Easy Mart looks like crap gas. Thanks, 114 power. 
Everybody knows that, right? You get gas from a busy gas station, not like some hole in the wall, like nasty gas station. Because of, uh, you know, bad gas, like old gas that's been sitting. Honestly, that gas station probably gets plenty of, plenty of use being right here in this densely populated area. But I want my heritage to run strong. Okay, I bet that gas station gets plenty of business also. So we're just gonna go to the lowest cigarettes in town. Wouldn't it suck if I found out right now I didn't have my wallet? That happened one time. We got to Albany. My wife didn't have her wallet. We had to go all the way back, it sucked. Why don't I pull up on this side? I don't wanna be on this side. I like to have the pump on my right so I don't have to go across my tank with a pump. And we're back. So I ended up at Wendy's because Chick-fil-A it's on the wrong side of the street. It's over there. And I'm going that way. I did, uh, well, for starters, I forgot to put my phone back in here. I did check the ride planner out, see where I was, all that stuff, see how all that stuff is going. Because I wanted to add a stop. I actually couldn't do it while I was in the ride. I had to stop that ride and I have to start over again. So let's see if I can make that happen. How do I go to my rides? That's me. I don't want to go there. I could send a bike if I had a touring bike. I just don't. Which, by the way, that's part of why I'm even doing the ride planner thing. Because I talked about it in the limited low video that I posted. And we sent it to bike and all that stuff. But I um, just wanted to kind of play with the app a little more. And since I'm going places that I, I know where I'm going. But I can also use some help in some areas. I figured it's a good way to figure out if it works and how easy it is and all that. Like right now, I cannot for the life of me find the ride that I've already created. There's my rides. It's under the helmet and I had to scroll down. So does it realize I'm in the middle? Okay, so I'm in the middle of it. So it wants me to, it looks like it wants me to go back home before it'll let me do it which is stupid. Let's cancel this ride. That's dumb. So I'm gonna create a ride. I'm gonna start where I'm at, check. End location is gonna be Orlando Harley again, but I also wanna add a waypoint, add next stop, Tifton Harley. There's old Tifton Harley. I don't think I mentioned it before, but I travel at night. After I get off work, I'll drive that at that time to kind of save some of my vacation days and stuff like that. So basically, I never get to stop at Harley dealers along my routes because they're always closed. But today, I'm going there. Man, a lot of bikes. Your left. Shut your pie hole. It's the jump start. All right, let's go in here. If there's anything cool to show you, I will. Obviously, taking video in the middle of a dealership is weird, so I didn't do that. But really nice place. Look at all these bikes they got out here. Yeah, a ton of them. They did try to sell me a bike, which is kind of annoying. They're like standing outside. And I was like, uh, yeah, I want an 18. He's like, oh, well, we got great deals on 19s right now. I'm like, dude, what? <laughs> Why don't you send me to the merchandise girl or something? Maybe I'd buy something in that department. I don't know, it's weird. Really? GA 401 towards Interstate 75 South, Valdosta. Thanks, Ride Planner. I shouldn't talk smack, though. He is a good sales guy. I mean, he's after a sale. That's what his job is, make that cheese. It was just humorous. Nobody knew who I was, which was kind of nice. It's, it's nice to just like roll in and poke around. Um, honestly though, no one actually spoke to me the whole time I'm there, except that guy on my way out. He asked if I'd been helped. So A plus to that guy. All right, this is the interstate. It's gonna be loud. You're not gonna be able to hear me. And it's gonna be boring to look at. So I'll catch you guys when the speed limit drops in a couple of hours. I always feel like I'm home. Yay! So it's time to get gas again? 
just so happens Skater Harley Davidson is on the same street. They like plan that out. They're, they're exactly one five gallon tank of gas apart. Forgot to check mileage too. I don't know what kind of mileage I'm getting. Is this thing working? I have to go inside. Let's see what's popping in this place. Somewhere to park? Is there anywhere to park? How's it going? It's hot dudes. <clears throat> really, really hot. So this is a my helmet bag turned inside out. So the soft side's out. Holding my jacket. Um, hopefully tight enough. Should be fine. I'll check it while I'm riding down the road. Oh yeah, I can't put both my gloves on because I gotta start the the road planner again. Oddly enough, nobody said hey to me here either. I'd still put my glove on. What a dumb. Just looking at a set of gloves that had a, you know, the tech tip. <laughs> it's like a, it's a tech, it has a little, so that I could suit up and then set all this instead of like half suiting up and then doing it all. But no one talked to me. Well, at least the last dealership had somebody that said hey. Got to do with tolls going through into Orlando, so I was gonna get some change. John? Yeah, man. Maxwell? Yeah, man. John Maxwell? Yeah, dude. Holy <laughs> That's awesome, man. <laughs> the only reason I wanted to come to the Daytona pool. Hell yeah, man. That's cool. Awesome. What's up, dude? Videos. Thanks, man. I was like the bike. <laughs> Beard, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. And you made the vlog. Oh, cool. <laughs> 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 Last gas stop before the toll roads. I want to go to the travel center. You guys do this like you plan for the for the exit. That's what I'm doing right now. I don't want to turn right into there because then I need to turn left getting out. I'd rather turn left right now when I'm facing traffic, turn right when I leave. Anyway, yeah, me and that dude was cool, man. Right up there at old right up there at old uh man, all the, every gas station I pick has old ass pumps. We got 92 premium in this place. Ugh. Harley Davidson Ford. Right there. Hot down here in Florida. Oh, if you're where it snows. Sorry, bros. Yeah, so that was cool meeting that guy right there at old Gainesville Harley. You know what? I'm just rambling at this point. Could I ball my business? Next time you see me, I'm gonna be in Orlando. Oh my, tolls suck. It also just dawned on me that I am pulling into Orlando at five o'clock. Oh man. Pretty sure my face is sunburned. It is like six hours after I left. No, way more than six hours. I left at like 9.30, it's five now. I am just uh, four minutes away from Orlando Harley, where hopefully they'll be able to wash my bike. I don't know what time they close. I mean, it's 5.08. That's, that's pushing it. I have faith in them though. I'm just happy to go somewhere where they're actually going to say hello to me since every other dealership just ignored me all day. It's a good ending to today's video. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about the heritage because it all started at Orlando Harley with me and the 114 Heritage Softail. see this place is busy we'll see if they can help me with the filth that is this motor cell. all right i made it just in time they I, I made it by like 45 minutes it's already in the wash bay getting cleaned up for tomorrow it's a nice ride down i did finish the the ride on the on the ride planner app that went well i, I logged some points i think it might be a might be a fun way to like rub it in um it's it's okay, it, it could use some fixes. Like I didn't like that I had to stop and do the waypoint. 
I couldn't like add a waypoint along my ride. I had to start over. And if you have a ride and, and you start at a particular place, it won't pick up where you're at. It wants you to go back to the start point. That's kind of silly. But the Heritage Review so far, I've kind of knocked the bag size on it. And it's kind of, there's some crap reviews on the speedometer, but like I said, I haven't seen that yet. I haven't even seen it in the dealership either. I'm not saying that it doesn't happen. I just think it might be really climate induced on the 18 and later soft tails. Some of the touring too. I have seen it on the touring bikes, but that's a different setup. But I, I, I thought it was really fitting to finish the video here at Orlando Harley too, because this is where my whole journey with the Heritage even started. It was Orlando Harley that let me borrow a 114 to ride with Block over to Cocoa Beach for a weekend, for a night. We went to eat, a big group of us. It's, there's a video, it's over there. That's when I knew that my camera would fit in the saddlebags and that I already knew it was a comfortable ride. Vibration is much lower than previous years. It's a smooth ride. A lot of people ask me, why didn't I just get a touring bike? Well, because it's lighter. The one that I got too, 2018, once 2019 throughout, they had an APR deal on the finance. So it was significantly cheaper in the long run to buy the 2018 that I bought. Overall though, I love the bike. You've just now seen footage of the bars, the sound bar, all that stuff worked out great. This is really my first time riding more than three miles and I did almost 400. So I'm really stoked that all that worked. All in all though, I love the bike. The triple trees do bother me. The lower triple tree is like a unfinished, it's nothing, it's gray. It's not polished aluminum, it's not black or chrome, nothing. It's just like, that's kind of lame. None of what bothers me about the bike though was enough to like, not pick the heritage and honestly i just i liked the weight and power ratio oh that was the other thing about buying a 2018 for the apr deal because a lot of people ask me why didn't i just get a road king or something well the apr deal that i got because it's 2018 after the model year 2019 had come out well that meant only the soft tail had the 114 factory and i definitely wanted that so that was a lot of why i didn't get a road king because well it's more expensive anyway and then the APR deal and you get the idea. All in all though, I absolutely love the bike. And I certainly don't regret it. It's one of those, what did I just see? Oh, if when you're walking away from your bike, you don't turn around and look at it, then you bought the wrong bike. That's the one. Yeah, I'm definitely still drooling all over the Heritage and I love it. Even if it does have some, some bits that aren't great, I don't think any bike is 100% perfect always. Hey Reese, you're in the video. <laughs> what up, blockheads? <laughs> That's a different channel. <laughs> oh, oh. You got your dirty thumbs? Yeah. Sweet. That's where we're at right now. Guys, if you like this video, make sure to give it a big dirty thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Yeah, and quite got you fixed. There's a video right here and here. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.